scam from a dot com. <laughs> should, should I sue them or never use them again? Well, this is how I know you might be young. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Darkest and welcome back to Life Advice. And my name's Young Philly and this is the show where Foot Asylum asks you guys to send in issues or dilemmas you may have and demand them solve it for you. Yeah guys, today's episode is about life. You know, just the general stuff, the ups and downs, the lefts, the rights, the diagonal to the other diagonal. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, comment, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we do a video. Without further ado, let's, let's go! Begin. And before we begin, why do you have a toothpick in your mouth? Okay, so first one, Darkus. This is quick fire, yeah? So, your mother or your wife? Who's sitting in the front seat of your car, Darkest? This is why I got a toothpick, by the way. Well, um, <laughs> 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 Depends for Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. It depends, you know, for me, it depends who you're with first. As in like, let's say I wake Factual. up, the, if I'm with my mum first, of course she's gonna jump in the front seat. My wife jumps in after, I'm not gonna make my mum jump out and go mm. in the back. It's not, it's not really a rule like that. I, I reckon it would be disrespectful on both sides. It would be disrespectful towards your wife to say, yo, get out, let my mum get in the front. Yeah. And It'd also for your mum your mom to say, get out, I'm his mum. But what would be nice if your wife was in the front and said, oh, mum, come sit in the front. You're mad, come sit in the front. It's yeah, comfy yeah. in the front. Yeah, yeah definitely. But actually, nah. The back's comfier than the front. Well, it's not really a big deal Wait, like that. Wait, why is this even a thing? I don't know why the that's a thing. The back's comfier than the front, you because know Because front yeah? seat with the person driving is like, we're a team. Do yeah. You know I mean? Like, I'm with this person. Oh, okay. You, you reckon that's what society it's sort of, is? Yeah, it's okay. sort of like status. That's what front seat is, bro. That's why hella people want shotgun. But back seat is technically more comfortable. Um, okay, they're both in the house at the same time. Ooh. Um, you know, it's, it's not even my problem. I'll just walk to the driver's car. Whoever sits there first sits there, bro. <laughs> Mums, it's, it's not even a thing like that. I swear, I really don't Whoever care. sits there sits but there. But can I be with you? I would personally, I'd... The I back like is more comfortable. Like yeah, it is. I I'd, like you know, I'd want my mum in the back because that's just me. Not because I love my wife. It's nothing stupidity like that. It's just because more... I, think, I feel like my mum's got a lot of room in the back. She's got space. She can... Like, yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. She can do what she wants. She's a big woman, bro. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I'm not going to make her sit in one seat like this with a, you get me, yeah. right, right in dangerous face. Nah, man. Well, there you have it. Just walk towards the car. Whoever sits at the front first sits at the front. Pretty much. Colombia versus the UK. Who would win? Okay. Um, but let's remix this question and go, what country is better? Okay, let's just, let's talk about this. Because okay, you know both. Things, who's got... W w w Colombia. Col of course, I believe. Food, Colombia. Food, Colombia. Um, what's it called? Lifestyle? No, okay, nightlife, nightlife. Nightlife is a better question. I'd say England. Okay. Only because Colombia, obviously, our thing's predominantly salsa, isn't it? Salsa is sick. Yeah, beautiful. But in some nights, you might want a hip hop night. Or do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, that's so, when you get the. No, I'd, I'd say no. Oh, it's hard to tell, though, man. Okay, um, okay, no, let's move on. Let's move on, on. Swiftly, swiftly and football. England. Okay. Football's <laughs> a hard one because obviously, man's Colombian <laughs> first before British, but. England have a better team in it, so it is what Colombia it is. versus Anyway, Colombia. next one. This one's a weird one. <laughs> okay, my girlfriend's breath stinks. How do I tell her? Your breath stinks. <laughs> That's next bad. one. I don't share my Wi-Fi with my roommates. I bought a prepaid Wi-Fi router and, and connection for me because the other one is slow. They know I have it and are being weird around me. Am I being selfish? Um. By the way, it doesn't cost you anything for other people to use your Wi-Fi, innit? Yes, it does. Does it? But you've never tried to play FIFA and about six of them and them on the Wi-Fi and you're lagging all over the Oh, shit. yeah. You're mad. That's why he specifically said, yo, I bought a prepaid Wi-Fi route or connection because the other one is slow. If it's slow, you can't let other man, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, there's probably a reason why it's slow, because of hella man using it. So you bought your own thing and now everyone's trying to drop in your thing because it's faster. No, I don't have it. No, you're not being selfish. You're just being, you're just worrying about yourself first. This is similar which to is like- Which is selfish, but is, um, you get what I mean? It's not selfish. It's not selfish at all. Don't. Yeah. This is Don't similar, feel bad about that. This is similar to one of the questions we had on the other episodes when it was like, how do I ask my friend for petrol money? Like, just be yo. You can use the route unless you put P. Even if you put P's, it's still going to make the connection slow. Yeah. So it's not helping. Yeah, definitely. I'm just. Um, he's trying to get away from slow Wi Fi, so he bought his own thing. Don't try and make it slow by joining in. Leave the guy alone, man. Yeah. My girlfriend calls me at least four times a day and wants to talk for ages. I've tried to tell her it's too much, but it never goes well. Help, how do I stop this? Um, this is a I can relate to this one, not like in a girlfriend sense, car. I ain't got a girlfriend, but in the sense of sometimes I just like being alone and I don't want to talk to no one. Just the other day, mm. oh, I had to hot up one of my friends. 
So you know me, I like making friends, innit? I recently made a new friend. Mm -hmm. But he gets upset when I don't pick up the phone or, or if I take like two days to reply. Yeah. So I said, why are you moving like a b fam? Yeah. I ain't spoke to my mum in three days, <laughs> bro. You think my mum is ringing off my phone upset like you? Are you my gal? So I'm like that. So yeah. I, I, I get it. I understand It's different if it's your brethren or this one's your girlfriend. But my or... answer, you know what it is, starts with a C. What I've been saying the whole time. Someone shout out. Huh? Communication. When have you ever said that? Did you say that before? Let's move on. And if you don't know did we I'll answer this? It. No, we didn't. No, yeah, I did, which is communicate. How are you going to summarise this? Well, yeah, it's pretty much communicate, really. There we go. I mean, but let me just elaborate, though. Communicate properly. Next one. You delete pics of your ex. It's not about him. It's about the memories of the day. Yeah, delete it. Why would you not delete it? Because if you're trying I'm just, to I'm just trying to memory. make you think. You know when I talk certain times, yeah. it's for the sake of a good convo. Sometimes I don't even believe what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, it's a devil's advocate. Cool. Yeah, cool, you know. So, my dream's always been F1, yeah? My Mrs. Jenny has finally taken me to F1. In the picture that I got with Hamilton, Jenny's in it. Yeah. I'm not deleting that picture. Yeah, you can crop it out though. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Cop it out though. Fair enough. No, but what if she's in the middle and then you and Lewis on the side? Then it's It long. looks weird. Yeah. Jenny's in it. Yeah, Jenny has and to be And it will get framed. And my wife can't say nothing because I've always wanted to meet Lewis. I'm like, look at me and Lewis. Who's that in the middle? Oh, don't, don't worry about it. Just me and Lewis. That was um, his journalist. Yeah. Giant. Cover it that way. They don't know. Quickly. So it depends on the picture you're trying to say? Yeah. So what if it's just you two going to Winter Wonderland? And you got pictures from that it's day. Gone, they, they, have, they have to get dash rate. It's got to go. Yeah, those, those those ones are gonna get. Yeah, it depends on it depends on the day and how yeah. memorable it was. In it. Yeah, honestly, don't really matter. I got scammed 2k from Booking.com. Just. <laughs> oh, he's deep. That is a genuine laugh. You're so deep. It says I got scammed 2k from Booking.com. How are you I... getting scammed from a .com? <laughs> should, should I sue them or never use them again? Well. This is how I know you might be young. <laughs> aye, aye. This is how I know you might be young. Your bank will give you back the money if you didn't actually spend that. Simple as that, bro. Just call your bank, say that you didn't do that transaction, or oh, sis, sorry. But call your bank, say that that transaction you don't recognise, it wasn't me, and then you give your money back. Simple as that. Yeah, it's just me, one. He's not gonna stop laughing. It's 2K. We're moving on to deeper discussions. This is the chat where we just waffle a bit more on what we're talking about. Okay, um, read this one, Darkus. <laughs> Two raccoons. It's actually not that funny. Yeah, I know, from Booking.com. Why is that so funny? Booking.com is such a basic website. How are you getting scammed from that? All right, cool. I'm still young and my parents are divorcing. How do I deal with it? Mad. I'm still young and my parents are divorcing. How do I deal with it? You just deal with it. I'll be real firm it. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be real rude. My parents got divorced when I was in year eight. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, so, so, well, to be fair, they were never married, but they finally stopped talking year seven years. Yeah, my, mom, my parents were married, but then they got divorced, and then in year eight. And then um, for me, Calvary, surprisingly, I didn't care as much as I thought I would, because I had a good relationship with both of them, and they still had a good relationship between them two. It was just like a mutual decision. Didn't care. I really didn't. No, not did. I did, but like I wasn't under the state, like lose sleep or like cry over it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You? I don't know why. Because I understand this happens with grown-ups, innit? I mean, you lot are grown, everyone has issues. You get it, as long as you can maintain a civilised relationship because of me, I'm almost holding you lot together because I'm your only kid. Mm. But, and then, yeah, and it still works up today and they've got a great relationship still today. Oh, is it? Yeah, they're, still, yeah, they're fine. They're friends, bro. And like, um, yeah, and I've got a great relationship with my dad and my mum. So, yeah, I'm, I think it's, how do I deal with it? I just say firm it because that's, from experience, Same. that's basically what I did. That's what I did too. Just really firm if it. If you want a genuine answer, I'd just say, yeah, firm it, man. What are the pros and cons? Of, of when they was together and of the, obviously the pros the pros for me I'm talking about how it affected me bro so the pros for me was nothing changed and that's a pro for me because I didn't it's not like I saw one less or I spoke to one less and one of them telling me don't chat and chatting about the other one I never had any of that do you get me so the fact that it didn't change for me is a pro for me I love the fact that it didn't change I still got my mum and my dad in my eyes the cons I don't really see a con. I just, in terms for me though, for them probably it's different because they're the one that had Yeah, the everyone's whatever. thing's different. I don't, have a, I don't have a con either. I really don't have a con. They were both happier when they divorced, so why is that a con? It, 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 
happens. That's all it is. Really, things happen, bro. It's not like it's not like a serious situation. Cool. There might be a little situation where I don't know. I'm just you know. Yeah, analogy. throw out something else. Throw out a serious situation. But like you. you could have played FIFA with your dad every Friday in the house. Cool. Your dad's not there no more. But eventually Ooh. you'll get over that. You get over yeah, it. Yeah, you will get over Trust it. Trust me, you'll get, get over it. Yeah. I'm talking from experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got over it. Yeah, it's different. Next one is in a long distance relationship, but my partner doesn't trust me to go out with my friends. Oh, I get it. I get it. Why? I get it. Because at long distance, you know is if you don't see the person quite often and they're telling you they're going out, you can only assume the worst. No? Yeah, you can, bro. Because uh, let's say I'm in London, she's in New York. Oh, I'm going out today, babe. Where are you going? Still. Um, Beatrice. I'm confident like, in my thing, fam. Like, I don't go, like, if my if my girl goes out, I'm not thinking raw, like, what's she up to? I wouldn't even chat to a girl if I felt like that. I would yeah. not be with someone if I felt like I couldn't trust them when they went out. What's the point? No, you do trust them. You just don't trust the environment and stuff they're in. There's temptations all over the gaff, bro. Oh, yeah, because you're saying I do. Yeah, exactly. but she doesn't and long trust me distance, to go with It's my not friend. like you can go check no, on her. No, I, I still agree with my opinion. Why, why does that change anything? Because it's the friends. Yeah, or your friends are bad. Remember, you're, you're, yeah, so what they can be, they could say, we all have choices though, innit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. But, not going, like a, but going out, boy, you're surrounded by bad decisions. You're surrounded by like things that cause bad decisions, like alcohol, for example. You may be okay, but what if she gets drunk and then she's surrounded by like 10 guys? You may trust her, but you don't trust them. And you just don't want her in that environment in a safe place. Like, if I have a Lamborghini, bro, I know my Lamborghini, all the locks work, but that doesn't mean I'm going to try and let people break in. Could you ever do a long distance relationship? No, I can't. Okay. I, I need, I need. Hold me, man, touch mm. me. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, man. You and that fool's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, just like, I just like cuddles. So do you, would you do a long distance? No. You wouldn't, innit? Because you, you need the whole... I, I would, I would, like I said, if we was both here for four years, then you got an opportunity to go make bread in a year in like Botswana or something, then I would, you know what I mean? I don't know, my mind's random. <laughs> Botswana? But, um, what is going on? Yeah, generally I wouldn't, I wouldn't have one. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I wouldn't do a long distance thing anyway, but... Um, the whole my partner doesn't trust but, me. But it works. You shouldn't though. be with that person then. I've seen people that have done it and it's been tried to test. You know Timothy De La Ghetto? Yeah. The, so him, um, Timothy De La Ghetto, if you don't know him, the, the Chinese guy in Wilding Out. Yeah. Um, him and his go a long distance. She lived in Toronto, he lived in the States. Yeah. You get me? He was flying back and forth and now they live together, have a baby. They're fing. Yeah, so in most cars, I'm just saying I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. I can't do that. That's what you uh, Phone sex and that, like, <laughs> busting your nut over the phone. I wish you were here. I, if oh, I, that is I, I, you, know what you know what it is? You know what it is? If I was there, what would be happening right now? <laughs> All right, them ones, look. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> and you know when you're just in weird position? Yeah. yeah so fucking... Yeah, just try, you know, in weird position. Imagine just... Hey, imagine just... Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, so what, what we... Just playing with your trainer. Yeah, just playing, just doing something stupid. So, yeah. What you're the, I know, are you dirt? Are you dirt? So I chill out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying anyway? <laughs> and there we have it, people. This one is a wrap. I've been Young Philly. I've been Darkest. Um, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Actually, do you know what would be nice? If you commented whether you want to see more of these episodes, that'd be nice. Because I. I quite like these series, and um, if you want to carry on watching them, just let me know. Okay, goodbye.